And comedian Kathy Griffin is sparking outrage over a photo depicting her holding a fake, decapitated head of President Trump. Griffin is now under Secret Service scrutiny and faces backlash for attempting to mainstream Islamic State propaganda. One America's Rachel Senes has more. All right, I hope you're ready because they all go down tonight. Lindsay Lohan, Mel Gibson, Jersey Shore, Real Housewives, everybody's going down tonight. Comedian Kathy Griffin is known for her no-holds-bar, over-the-top, shock-value humor. Now, the 56-year-old comic who believes nothing or nobody is off-limits when it comes to comedy admits herself she has gone too far. It's this photo of the comedian which has taken center stage, but this time, nobody is laughing. In it, Griffin stares seriously and directly into the camera while hoisting up a fake head of President Trump dripping with blood. It attempts to mimic ISIS propaganda, photos of Islamic militants holding the severed heads of captured hostages. And for the first family, the shocking image hits close to home. Sources say Baron Trump saw the image himself on TV, screamed for his mother thinking the fake image was actually real. President Trump called the decapitation joke sick, tweeting his son is traumatized over the photo. Kathy Griffin should be ashamed of herself. My children, especially my 11-year-old son Baron, are having a hard time with this. Meanwhile, the First Lady said, As a mother, a wife, and a human being, that photo is very disturbing. When you consider some of the atrocities happening in the world today, a photo opportunity like this is simply wrong and makes you wonder about the mental health of the person who did it. Kathy Griffin has since apologized. I sincerely apologize. I am just now seeing the reaction of these images. I'm a comic. I cross the line. I move the line. Then I cross it. I went way too far. The image is too disturbing. I understand how it offends people. It wasn't funny. I get it. But many question the sincerity of her apology, calling the photo a publicity stunt. Others say it's too little too late and the damage has already been done. The image has caused a firestorm on all sides of the political spectrum. Democrat lawmaker Gabby Gifford says it's an example of inciting violence against the commander in chief. Former first daughter Chelsea Clinton weighed in, tweeting, It's never funny to joke about killing a president. The graphic photo caught the attention of the Secret Service. While the agency did not comment specifically on the photo, it did say the U.S. Secret Service has a critical mission. It's always unfortunate when people make statements that could be perceived as threats. We don't have the luxury of knowing a person's intent. Each alleged or perceived threat has to be investigated thoroughly. While some call it freedom of speech, others say Kathy Griffin should be held accountable for her actions. Just like back in 2010 when a man from Kentucky, Johnny Logan Spencer, was sentenced to nearly three years in prison for threatening President Barack Obama in a poem he published online called Sniper. As for the graphic image, the fallout from the photo is only beginning. And now, your hosts, still going strong after 10 years, Anderson Cooper and Kathy Griffin. CNN has fired Griffin from its New Year's Eve coverage, which she co-hosted with Anderson Cooper. Her partnership with Squatty Potty has also gone down the drain. The company, which designs bathroom products, has dumped its campaign featuring the comedian, calling the photo deeply inappropriate and contrary to its core values. Nonetheless, the comic who has spent her entire career pushing the boundaries of comedy has attempted a joke which many are calling no laughing matter. Rachel Senes, One American News.